้างเสร็จใส่ได้ดีคุยในนี้เหตุการณ์ตอนนั้นอะอธิบายกันดีทีกับที่ตัวโรคุระ
Diasia or the Yusu, the Mosher, and the Wiley, the Utuma Sabano, Okadua, Bangi, Juan, as if you were. What are the Utuma, your Bangai, and their woman on the work in a special way? Nahi Kamadayo, the Maito. Nepe say, never a boom one man, the Tosianga, Ima, Bungi, Tokolo, Boloni, baby, and my near, Kobiki, and being Musia, Bungatia, and Kalamana. Na <laughs> Let us see and guide Nanaquasia, to take a colour with the priest in the art, yes, one we are nine, nine, they are, na nine, wa, na nine, die, by moon, wuka, quasa, at the sailor, qua, one as if you were. Biblia, yes, ya, Lucifer, by the way, on the way, no, my name, Mungo, and my name, Pia, near Wagginella. But the Russian, I see a town for you, and go, my Ula, your mother, you went out to my own home. When I wake up, I will not be able to do it. One as if you were. Now, yes, I'm a Christian. I'm not 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 now we the key and that is a key I get to Yangai, Unuka you then at a nanu, a key I you, two, the key I get, no more than that, who a key I want as if you are. When you have a summer, you buy my young Unamaka, Mangi, no man, the white there was what we are with our young woman. Not a cat, the white you, never one out of this year. So, can you amount with our Malay book? Yes, when you are not a mission. Quando o mano já não tem o amor e a mãe que é a dar o meu ate que o motorista não chama para o carro e o carro vai o carro o the Lama Pierre, Nitona, Lazaro, Aikia Kiwa, Madena, where Sailor Ayu was. Oh, the year is a Madena, like in the Maya Pet of Kia Kiwa, with Okomiwa, Okomia, Madena, where Sailor, Huawa, Waye, Lorena, Hawaii. If you are a Maito, one at the Pierre, why she is in a better place than us? Ours is to trust God, Kitune Kumweki, and we are. Life after death. Now to come, 
tutomba lise pesa la balaba ya maito twetha twesi ondo mwa wakanai nitu ka kwa malana maito no ambe no ndungu wa keli e bandu basio pio bala wa se obi wenu mwe wetu yesu kristo ndo tuona ala sala wa ekiwe ni bala twesi bendo sia na isi asia a kwete ukia tu a nenga wa comfort no ndo ma ma ala wa sibite jo asia e no ma kwa ga isi mato ndo mwe se to tia na isi eda ndo ndo saka na de de ai pepe bandu ba ndu ba se a ngo kweko ndo ndikusiyo <laughs> Ani wani e kwa ile tesa ikala na ake kwa muya na nijo we ya mani kwa ma ake ko sia ndu ki tika oye ma fa ndu ki sana sia wai ku ko sia ndu ki tika oye muya ina mo nge na binya e kwa ma na muya ya to nge na binya i jonde a to nge na ka mo e ke yo tu ke ma ka ka na to ka ki pe di wa na muya wai ki ya so ki isto kwa na ki pe wa ka ma ke na tuwa ka wa pe wa ki mo lise pa sa pe ni na a tuwa wa ta kwa ma oye.
tuletei tunataka tuelegezewe vile tutatoa mwili au kwa utolewe bila maombi ilikuwa kwanza wasonge najua walikuwa kwa magari mengi sio hivyo i was waiting for them kwa hivyo kutoka hapa tunapatia reference za karia you see what leo but i will be conducting in the case is something inatakikana kwa hivyo zakaria unatuongoza kutoka hapa nadhani wajukuu wamekuja wale wanabeba mwili kwa hivyo ayasha hii ayasha hii the reference zakaria kutoka hapo okay asante hapo okay asante nitakuwa na wakati wa kuomba ili tuweze kutoa mwili Bwana kama uweze kushuka na njia ya ajabu ili endelee na kukusa mioyo yetu na kuifariji na kutupa nguvu ili Bwana katika ijaya ya siku ya leo Bwana ukaweze kutenda hiyo makubwa asante kwa sababu ya watoto wa mama asante kwa marafiki ndugu na dada kanisa na wote tunaomba ya kwamba Mungu wetu endelee na kutufariji na kutupa nguvu kwa Yesu Kristo tunaomba na kuamini Amen Okay asante wajukuu tutatoa mwili kwa mama yetu
Benjamin Chalo Be Benjamin Kio akuja hapa ili upate kutupa mwelekeo wa Mankuli na mambo tutafanya haraka haraka tuko nyuma ya masaa uh, kwa hivyo wakati tutaanza uh, tutaenda moja kwa moja uh, katika ibada kwa hivyo jamende utatupea mwelekeo wa vile watu watakula na if it is possible within 30 minutes kwanza wacha nimsalimie kwa jina la Yesu Kristo mkozi wetu amjambo Jina ni Benjamin Kio na mimi ndiye assistant MC. Okay, tutachukua muda kidogo sana. Tutatumia only 30 minutes. Na nimeona cooks wetu wamejiandaa kabisa. Kwa hivyo nataka mmoja wenu aje hapa atuambie mko na sehemu ngapi za kupeana chakula alafu ombe hiyo chakula Nani anakuja kuombe hiyo chakula Wale wengine wakia wakiendelea na kujipanga We, nataka tusikizane Nimesema EMA ya chini Pale ni ya pastors na family Ya Johnson Martini Mwicha Na wale wameowa Ama wameolewa Nyuma ya pastors Hapo hiko na mna hiyo Mwicha family mutaka ile, ile Kando na marafiki Na majirani EMA ni ya, ni ya kwaya Sika hapo na utaratibu Na nyuma Pia visitors na wageni wote wanaweza kaa. Nilisema immediately tukifika tu, tu, tu hapa tukitoa mwili tutaweka hizi maemba, hii ema bili viti hapa pia watu wakalie. Tusumbue familia. Vile tumepanga ikiwa umeketi pale, awe si pasta, si wa familia ya Johnson, Matinge Mwicha ama uende ema lingine. Eh, wageni tunavyo hapa chini kwa kanisa yetu ya katuliki mtu akitaka kujisaidia hapa chini tu tumeweka magari kuna singini hapa pia kule chini kuna mboma singini na kuna paki mtu aweke gari yake vizuri na ukitaka usaidizi utasaidiwa na wale watu wako na reflectors ama mimi ama the main MC Zakaria ama Benjamin ukija ukiwa na shida kwa kusaidia kwa hivyo ni karibu sana na tunashukuru Mungu kwa safari yenu kwenda Machakos na kurudi na wale wametembea bisho wa Nairobi tuko naye hapa na tuko na viongozi mbalimbali wa madhehebu mbalimbali katika hii baada ya mama kwa hivyo utaratibu uko na mna hiyo Tutangazia, tutangazia bile chakula tutakula tuta, tuta, tuta na ile masaa itawekwa ya chakula ikiisha tutatoa hizi vyombo ili itue na wakati nzuri okay nimesema ni 30 minutes tutapewa hiyo chakula na 30 minutes na hao watu wa pick nataka mmoja wenu aje hapa atuelezee bila tutakula Alafu mmoja wenu aombe chakula. Wako wapi? Na yeye tumeanza tume, tume, tume kuhesabu. Kuhesabu katika 30. Na ndio nasimamia na chakula hapa. Nataka aombe yako wapi? Ako wapi aombe? Alafu atuambie vile tunajipanga. Kama ni area bishop Pastors, tuone bale watakuwa na pewa chakula Halabu watuelezea wale wengine watakuwa na chakua chakua chakula kutoka wapi Kwani 
Haji yuko karibu? Ama ama tu ama tuchukue pasta moja tu aombe chakula. Wacha tuchukue pasta kwa sababu ameendelea sana huyu. Lakini unatuelezea vile mwenye mmejipanga. Oh, wanajipanga. Okay, wamesema wako ready. Kwa hivyo nauliza yule alikuwa anaongoza hizo chorus hizi. Natupatie a very short chorus ili hao wa, wanjipange. Ame wamekuja? Uko tayari sasa? Ame wamesema bado. Bili. Tengeneza watu wako waimbe wewe mbo moyo.
Okay. Wale wanapokuwa chakula sasa msimame hapo kuna chakula kwa sababu tunaanza kukula saa hii. Alafu uh, chakula watu wanakula hivi. Alafu tutaambia uh, hii security ukionekana unasukumana ukiendea chakula kwanza utapelekwa nje ya Kayava ngoje hapo. Na tafadhali ndio utakula. Ngumba una weu maluje mundu. Tunenge ikondo na pia. Wae maiko Rui ni kwa Mwima kukitao kwa ribu kazi ya ribu sasa uh, Tutaanza wachungaji uh, watakula kutoka kwa hii meza Pamoja na watu wa jamii Kwaya, kwayas watakula kwa hii meza, kwaya zote Na kutoka pale, urudi nyuma Kuna chakula ingini iko pande hiyo Kwa hivyo, uh, tutakula hivyo na MC atakuwa anaangalia vile tunaendelea asante Reverend Peters ndale kuya wape chakula Ah uh, bwana Yesu asifiwe Ataulizwa sisi wote ama sisi sote tu wape kwa ajili ya chakula cha mchana Tuwambe pamoja, baba mwenyezi mungu katika jina la yesu Tunakushukuru wa duhuri ya siku ya leo kwa maana wewe ni mungu mkuu Asante kwa sababu umekuwa mwaminifu katika maisha yetu sisi sote Na hasa kwa ajili ya maisha ya watu wa jamii ya Johnson Mbao tumekuja kuomboleza nao kwa, kwa ajili ya kifo cha mama yao mbae umimuita huko kwa kumbinguni Wakati huu ni wakati mzuri umefika ili tuweze kushiriki chakula cha mchana pamoja. Tunaomba kwa ajili ya chakula hiki baba tunapo uh, kula pamoja ili uweze kukibariki. Na pia tunaomba tukishukuru kwa ajili ya wale ambao wamekitengeneza kwa sababu umewalinda. Kwa hivyo tunasema asante. Tunapo kula pamoja, jina lako litukuzwe na utongozi ya tamati. Na tukifika mwisho wa ratiba yetu ya siku ya leo tutakushukuru. Sante baba tunaomba kwa ajili ya watu wa familia watie nguvu wakati huu na roho mtakatifu ambaye ndiye mwalimu wetu ambaye ambaye ndiye naweza kuwatia nguvu na kuwafariji na faraja zitokazo kwako pia toomba nguvu zake ziwe juu yao ili waweze kuwafariji wakati huu. Na lako litukuze sasa na hata milele tunaomba haya kwa Kristo mwongezi wetu. Amen. Okay, nimesema tu we are, we are behind the time. Kwa hivyo tuko na Datika tharathini peke yake Kwa hiyo kutunda Sam tatu Hapa ni kwa Area bishop Na all the pastors Na watu wa familia Kutazabio kutoka hapo Hapa kuna choirs Choirs wote hapa Na nimesikia kuna Kuna another Another serving point Karibu na gate wale wengine hapo na tumeambiwa mtu aki akifanya madharau ataenda nje ya gate kwa hivyo tumeanza okay kwaya 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 wameanza kwaya zote tuingie huko reverend matimo muongoze Every mission we should get a pull up.
Okay, wacha nitangaze mahali pa kujisaidia. Ukienda upande huo
Sama itu kau mari lihat dekat ni ni.
Belum saya kenyang kan? Eka mana ya? Kaitu muka agenda ya ni Yesus Kristus. Muka seo? Muka seo ingi? Eh, na itu dia seo. Ni tu yang mohon mohon dengan aku. Arus ini yang mudah lah mai tu. Mai tu, eh, pada mana nak kuat ni kuli kan? Ira wah, wah, mai aku. Last year, itu waktu yang boleh aku. Nadi aku ambil tak kake, ambil ya kake dok kake dia ni doa Yehova. Naa ni motivasi mana? Naa ambil ane wira ni mui ni mui na, mui kake kau tak ya Yehova nak kuat aku ini ada. Nadi ntar ya Yehova nak muka aku jadi dah. Iko mana dia ada mui asio? Mwasio ingi, na ito te asio, bea ni tutu ingi, nga imo bea nundu akutusi ya masasu, na minge nga ini mwasio. Si badu ndu arusi ya mwito ya mudia, ila kutia tike uya wake kui ulo ande, na amina mwendo wake nensa. Kwa ungo ya nga ya mudo mwasio, wala wesa kuye. Haleluya. Eno ni alusi, ati matiko wana asifiwe. Wanana asisi ya ndi kwa na mwondo kwa ya, nunu maitu nukedisi ya uya wake. Na ni wadhi kamodhia na mulechei enoke Bwana asipiwe Haleluya Nitu tayangai na wadhi wecha wa ewe bwana Deto hii si umete bukuni ya sabuli Zila mbukumi wangai wewe tawa daudi Wa muki edhi adhi uketo na maitha Na kuliangai ni kata Ngai ya mwe anduwa ina manenga ni mokone maku Endo mokone Hii ni siyo deto siyangai Ila mbukumi wake daudi wanea ingie
wetu na Mungu wetu ulie juu mbinguni. Tuwatukuze jina lako na kulinua kwa wema wako na fadhili zako. Bwana hii ni baraka tunaileta mbele zako mfano wa mbinguni. Bwana ili utumie kila mmoja jinsi upendavyo kwa utukufu wa jina lako. Bwana tupe neema inayoweza kulitukuza jina lako mfano wa mbinguni. Na tukapoona tamati jina lako tutalitukuza. Imidiwa katika kila hali na ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo tumeomba na kuamini. Basi tuketi chini. Uh, tuketi chini ili baada tuanze tuanze ibada. Na nimesema kwa hii yema imekaa skofa uh, wachungaji na familia pia iko hapo nyuma na ninajua ya kwamba mambo itakuwa mazuri. Uh, ile program ama ile practical tutorial leo tutafuata hakuna mahali tutabadilisha na tunataka tu ili tuende kwa sababu tukiacha mtu aongee sababu hatutaki mtu akuje na kusema hii ni hii ni siku yetu ni siku sio yako sio yako tafadhali kwa hivyo yule atapewa mic hata microphone ile tuende haraka haraka hii mtaelekezwa na wapiga picha sababu najua itaongoza okay kwa bisho wa Nairobi lunch viongozi wataka mbali mbali watu wa familia mama yetu wasalimu kwa jina la Yesu amujambo amen mimi naitwa Wendy Tonda Wadonye mimi ni senior chief atungulo location nikiwa hapo wewe ni mama yangu tu wa familia moja na hii siku ya leo kuliitwa na Mungu kuja kuandaa maisha vile mama yetu atakumzika. Kwa hivyo tumeshukuru wale wametoka sehemu mbalimbali sa inji yetu kuja kuwa nasi kwa hii siku ya furaha kwa mama ametulea na pia hata ukiangalia picha yake ana furaha. Tangaza machache ukitaka kujisaidia kuna uamani kama ile chache hapa chini tumefunguliwa hizo hizo bless bless kujisaidia hapa nyuma kuna urino you can assist yourself where you find necessary yetu kukaribisha watu wote kutoka sehemu mbalimbali sa inji yetu kwa hii siku tuwe pamoja hiyo ratiba itatuongoza bila umeelezewa Kutakia watoto wa mama yetu kila laheri na baraka hata wakati tutamhususha apumzike. Asante. Asante. E, na hizo sisi ni ajibu wa mbigwa. Uko umeendea bado. Okay, asante. Sasa tunaanza ibana, tutaanza kwa wimbo tunaongozwa na Salvation Hami kwaya hiyo ya Makandara. Salvation Hami Makandara kwaya na hiyo ikiisha tutakuwa tunasomewa theology na Esther Bibi. Kwa hivyo awe karibu. Ah uh, waimbaji ujeni. Alafu tukimaliza hiyo tutazikia uh, tukisomewa theology. Awe akimaliza ile kwaya itafunika jeneza kitambaa ndio watafuata then tribute. Kwa hivyo salvation hami hiyo kwa najua ni ya neema ile itafunika then tusomewe tribute haraka haraka
neema neema kwaya esi katua nya Mstari wa kikundi Waefeso mlango wa 5 na mstari wa 19 Mkizemezana kwa zaburi na tezi na nyimbo za rohoni huku mkiimba na kumshangilia Bwana mioyoni mwenu Mwaitu nekadila ndi nina wawini 
Maite to mwana mugo. No tukuati yeti ndaji tu ya kita. Amen. Okay, tusikie hiology. Na hiology kisha tutaenda kwa photos na hapo ndio tutaenda bio bio. Kwa hivyo sans waanze kujiada na doctors kwa the late waanze kupanga laini hapa nyuma. village to the late Nzivo Mwanika and the late Ruth Mugua Nzivo. She was the second born out of a family of nine. She was sister to the late Raphael Mutonga, Grace Muniva, the late Naomi Kilonzo, late Rose Ndinda, Beth Chongo, Elikana Musioka, Jimmy Muisio, and the late Daniel Nzioki. Education. The late Esther Ndunge Matinge went to intermediary level at Matungolo Primary School and later joined Precious Blood Kilungu. Career. She was a teacher at Kadidiyama Primary School. Marriage. The late Esther Ndunge Matinge was married in 1954 to the late Johnson Matinge Mwicha. They would later be blessed with four sons and four daughters, Rosemary Wavinya, Minge, and Rose Nduko. She was an in-law to Mzambia, Kilonzi, Kasilia, Mwangi, Peter Maivia, Walo Nganga, Wadome, and Kimitei Misoi. Mother-in-law to the late Mzambia Ndoka, the late Catherine Ndonge, the late James Motava, Anthony Kilonzi, Nancy Wangare, Lydia Kalonde, Justina Kavu, Jen Chepkoech, and Sarah Kazungu. She was grandmother to Mweni, Tony Kennedy, Mutile Nini, Zambia. Matthew, Dominic, David, Judy, and Joseph Mutidao. Nico, Fibian, Irene, Arnold, Dr. Alan, Charity, Connie, and Dennis Mackenzie. Kennedy, Peggy, Victor, Moses, Mutava. Esther, Ron, Betty, Mwendo, Robin, Mona, Shakaina, Eliza, Alex, and Benjamin Chalo. Bill, Eric, Marion, Richie, Rehema, Mwicha, Kevin, Florence, Sylvia, and Adrian Wagangi, Mike, and Trinity Nduko. She was a great grandmother to Romana, Yusuf, Mariam, Ayira, Leo, Sean, Michelle, Lincoln, Levi, Ryan, Ethan, Romeo, Deborah, Angie, Joy, Prince, Tiara, Bobby, and Jaden. Church life. She was an active member of Matongulu AIC, Katwanya AIC, and Nema Choir 
until her retirement from active service. Sunset. The late Ed Sandunge Martini was unwell since May of 2021 when she suffered fracture of neck or femur bone and was under home-based care until her peaceful demise on 15 December 2022. She was 92 years old. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Na sans wa kitoka ili tuende pamoja their whites will be just here ili wa popi Kai kai wakiongozwa na Dr. Richard Jenny Waimo <coughs> they are from the whole house to come and uh, I want someone to be here because this is a great thing to perform. Uh, Mimi, I want to say this. 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 Mwitu alikuwa ni mama mzuri sana petu Mimi wakati ninakuwa nilikuta dada zetu wameenda colleges na wakaolewa Kina daktari Richard na baba Tish wakua wamesha pata ajira So I was left behind with the charm, dan charm and the rose dupu Before I could do very beautiful chapatis And I knew how to bake cakes Courtesy of my mom. Na kumbuka wakati wa kuanza kutu na atika. Baadai wakati baba yetu waliko stahafu, yotu ka relocate huku kimani. Na familia ya chief, tulikuwa tunakula hapa. Na mwitu walikuwa natuwekea stakula kwa tre, kubwa sana. Among our children, two were very slow in eating. These two were Dr. Richard and Cham Dan Cham. I could secure position three after Mama Ken na Baba Tile. Sikuwa tunakula iyo sinia inabaki inatua moshi. Mama Ken inatua fiongo anaosha after 30 to 45 minutes niyo Cham na Dr. Richard wana Malisa. It was very interesting. Na kwa sababu hii nigepena kusoma yoleji kwa niamba ya vijana wake but kwa sababu miandikuwa na kimombo na kingereza na mimi sijui kwa nimesungumza na David mutietao aweze kutafsiri kwa kiswahili ama kikamba lakini nafiri kiyo ipepitwa na wakati au wefa tuko na watu wale wa elimu au wate kusome Kenya, CBC na haya masono mengine na wako hapa hawa ni kama watoto wa maita wakati wa vacation likizo wanakatalia shule ndiyo tuendele kuletewa chapati, avocados na maembe na maitu kwa hivyo maitu walelea watu wengi sana bila kukotesa na fasi ni kamuita kwa namusa amale ni beneficiary moja kwa those avocados na ye ni deputy director of education na wawo ndiyo wakiletea tusome na hii english asome Thank you. That's my double Edward. I'll read the the tribute for children. Mami, we your children feel so blessed and honored to have you as our mom. Since your demise, since the demise of our loving dad, you took over the leadership of the family. A role you played so well until your demise on the 34 day, 15th December 2022. We fondly remember you as an always joyful, loving, peaceful mom who always ready to advise and guide. 
You raised us in a church and showed us godly ways. Growing up, you used to wake up us early every Sunday to go to church. We remember the many visits we made to our dad during your two holidays. Very strict. very young at twenties. None of us was that. And mami alitulea kama watoto wake. Ile tedi amesema she was told how to cook chapatis. I remember mami na tata the late when he rest in peace. He could tell us we were to cook at Samoja. That is the experience we have had here. And that one has taught us how to be strong even how, when we are building our families. Mami also taught us how to be wakulima. Na as we talk, kila umoja wetu hapa, anaeza lisha mboma yake. Mami also taught us on how olea watoto wetu bila ubagosti. Na majuku wako hapa, kaongea. And uh, the family was tight. These four people, could not separate them together. Even when Mami separated Akina Richard and the Charlo to go up there, we'll come, we'll come here for leave, all of us. Na seems to be from Garissa everywhere. Na tutakuja hapa kukula pamoja. Ilikuwa mboma ya, imboma ilikuwa ya upendo. Katesi of Mami and the late and we are going to carry on that legacy, the same. It is a family of together. It's one of the hapa wengi. Nakelele sana. Mtu anafika kule, anafika anashanga. Kwa nikuwa matinigo pecha u. It is that togetherness. Togetherness we are here. Na tunawashikuru sana kwa kuja. I thought I would cry. But mami, tulukipenda, tumekupenda sana. And I remember the last time I was here, with my sister, Amanda Go. Na nilimuuliza, mami unataka nini? Haka nilambi nasikia utungu sana. And what do you want? Nikatoka, then I was, toka hivi ya kasema, can you pray for me? Haka nilambia my sister, can you pray for us? For me. And uh, my sister haka shanga sana, lakini haka muambi. And I came and told my children also, because kuna kama Mombasa, make a point of going to see Nyanya Wenyu. And they came all of them. So as we are here, all our children, walisha hanga, baba wetu, mama yetu, farewell. And ya tuna ndeni na yeye, na kama kuna kitu tulimfanya, it's in peace. Na, ah, kidogo tu, because this is our last. Nanda, nundu nye, tinye the first one. Nenani nenge wagari, mama masi, niyela tukaribisha kwa hiboma. Onge kidogo, kata kama na hukufu kodu ukiba. Thank you, Christine. Ati mba, kanyumu ya seo? Inaongea? Inani sikia? Nilikuwa na sikia ni meokolewa na Christine. This young guy in front of people, yeah, I don't know how to talk so much. Like him, he, and the, and the nipatia. So, lazima ni msalimie. Eh, ame young guy, mengi juu ya our mother-in-law. This lady sleeping here was a loving mother. As Christine has said, we came here when we were very young girls. I don't know why the sons liked marrying very young girls. I came here when I was only 21. I think she was 22. Oh, we were very young. We were very young. 
And uh, this lady, we had so many weaknesses. Lakini hakuna siku, nilisikia mami atikemea mtu. Ali to receive vile tulikuwa, akatulea, akatuongoza. Na hakuna siku nilisikia mami atiambia mwingine, eh, nga ndei, omu angine siku kolo nga angima, nga ndei, ona siku sikia iwe na siku ndei. If I made any mistake, I remember there was a time Tata came with Matumbo. Eh? Nyamaisi ya Matumbo. And I had not seen Matumbo before. I didn't know how to prepare Matumbo. So what I did, no, siye ketongo na atilanga, na eke ya mauta, na atilanga Matumbo makwa, na akaanga. 15, 30 minutes, ni katawa na nika wapakulia. Ila katawa na ekiwe Matumbo aso wa debia. Donge. Kula wa uwa matumbu alo. <laughs> Aka ambiwa ne, nga mwaji. Aka ambiwa, osa matumbu, matumbu asu otu unge hiko ne, no eka nga mwaji, oti umoni how to prepare nini? Matumbu. So you see, when we went to the kitchen, mamiya ambiwa ya, hmm, kaa no ka unoka nini? Eh, matumbu mamba au de ukyo. No eka, no eka ambiwa ne, sa siku wa nimeosha vizuri. So you can imagine such a loving mother. She was so kind. I, I had already sat with my father-in-law. I didn't know it was bad. Eh? So, come and look mama and adjua, maybe potato or anything. You can imagine the fix I could have. I nige kuwa nige kutiwa. Lakini mami alienda kanyandia mungo na doka atele me. Kano ka unuka nini. Wee soma maundu maike pio. Wee soma maundu maike pio. And we walked, we walked with mami, all of us. We walked with mami, akatulea, akatufunza, akatuonyesha. Na akatufunza kuenda kanisa. Mami alikuwa na kuja akipata ni kwa huko juu na mwambia, mami neewa, aye, uke na kwa au, wangu suwa kukanisa ni. Kwa hundo kototo haba, wata maito. You see, hakuna one day, niliona this lady, I'm speaking in front of this, this congregation. There is not a single day I saw this lady annoyed. Nindi ya una mambia that day. Nadia ona mami ae shout ama akikukemea inene we. She was just a special lady. I have never had mami backbite anybody. Eh? Ata tukiwa hako tukiwa watatu ama waine hako jikoni. Alika, eh vya mwe kwa chego suka mwondo. Hine nilo mwe kwa tiyo ndonge. You know? <laughs> she was that kind. She could entertain ati. Nikuje nianza kuambia bibi atano. Eh, bibi ya endu, ayeki, mami ya kula zino mwina maudu wangi mama ana, maika, she was that beautiful. She had a beautiful soul, she had a beautiful spirit, and my prayer today, the way we are, you nena yuwe vani pasta, you nene mami, you know, mbaka na shingwa God, will I be able to fit in that shoe? Because she was so special, her character was special. But I believe with God everything is possible. So our promise is this. We are going to tutashikilia ivoma. Tutajaribu as much as we can to imitate our man. Hatuta mwangusha. Tata was a peaceful father. Manu was a peaceful man. So we have no chance. It is a challenge because hatuna nafasi ya kuangusha. So we are going to fight with our God. Atatusaidia and we are going to stand and be united just the way we were when our parents were there. May God bless you all. Okay, now my sisters, dada zao, mmoja na waume wao. Na tafadhali, familia nindi omulumenepea hii na mugani ambeni mtu mmoja na hongea. But for respect what you have said to me, na taenda atalaka. Sisters, what could you? Thank you for the work. Most of you should keep my video. Oh no, what can you do?
Okay, husbands, uh, we have uh, Sir Anton Kilonzi, that's our brother-in-law who is remaining. The others passed on at very old age. So it's only Sir Anton Kilonzi who is almost now going to 90. Do you wish to say hi? Uh, Sir Anton Kilozi ya mesema Yeo ya nafura kwa siku ya leo kwa sababu Ya mwaitute mata ingo Alikuja hapa katulekea karamu kubwa sana kutoka upande wa masi Wali munajua masi pale karibu kwa kina mutiambai Foma IG of police Sasa ni majirani Na walileta karamu likuwa kubwa sana hapa Na uwa nakumbuka na amefanya mambo mengi sana na sisi wakati akiwa anafanya kawa barracks now he is a senior citizen anasema mbarikiwe nyinyi ni wetu na sisi ni wenu karibu okay basi tunaenda kwa grand children na kwa sababu najua ni wengi tuta ladies muwe hapa nyuma yao alafu watoto wenu muwe tofo so so Today we could have chosen to mourn your departure, but instead our hearts are full of thanksgiving. Thanksgiving for the time we spent with you as our as your grandchildren, your legacy lives on grandma. We can all testify of the positive impact and good morals you passed on to us. Your invaluable wisdom and endless advices shaped us to the great gentlemen and ladies you see here. Your prayers kept all of us going. Growing up, Moments with grandmas are always full of fun and excitement. You get all the tender care, pampering and protection. And for sure, we got that from you, especially when our parents thought it was wise to discipline us. I hope we don't get into trouble. <laughs> you always had our backs. Now, for that, we are grateful. There are many memories we have with you, from teaching us how to plow the farms during the school holidays, uh, some of us here, you see, uh, to a demon, I will go in. My mom has your cat and a tina. Nicky, boy, I can never allow him. Now, my talk, I do have a mau when I will get a balawa when that day. My old macho may say. So, she taught us how to plow the farms. Uh, harvesting coffee, the coffee you see up there in Macadamia, and uh, roast potatoes. Today, as we start here to eulogize you, we are not surprised to hear a lot of wonderful testimonies about you. We've known you to be a wonderful. We will always cherish the memories of your kind gesture. You are our role model, and you have earned the right to rest in perfect peace. We shall see you on the beautiful shows forever in our hearts. Thank you. Ladies. Mulete, mulete ni watoto wenu. Then after watoto wenu wake wenu, wale mefanikiwa watakuja. Pastor, ujeni. 
grandchildren wasiana kujeni yenu ni picha now i talk to the grandchildren great for great grandchildren of kujeni Karibia mbele tusonge mbele. Songa mbele, songa mbele. Tutangalia hapa mbele. Chemsha mask kiasi. Ah yeah. Awa grandchildren grandchildren wako na watoto na their husbands. It has been read by David Sasao ni watoto wa watoto wa watoto watoto wa mama. Wakuje. Alafu na mabwana zenu I, I believe they are there. After hawa baba yao ndio watakuja hawa baba yao. Hawa. Watakuja wote. tribute for this one and uh, among them we have noticed there is a potential leader who could be the next Nairobi women rep by the name Debra Sainapay Kennedy. Praise God. My name is Debra Mukwa. Great grandma, today we thank God for giving us time together with you. We know that you are in perfect, we know that we shall meet on the beautiful shores. Rest in peace, great grandma. Sandy, Sandy, Lawa, Toto, Kujit. Kujit, your husband, Baba Lawa. He said, yes, in a Rons, in a Dominic, from Mumias. Our late dad used to call his home. Kijiji cha mchanganyiko. Uya. Uya. Sema, our dad used to call his home said kijiji cha mchanganyiko ojeni ko na watu kutoka mumias dominic idopomoli we have anod agufasu from fihiga we have muendo from eh uh, masiwa munyu tawa uh, this gentleman is called rons the our mwisho mwisho from machakos and we have this gentleman called Dennis from Kitui Mwinge I think so the composition of this is diverse among them uh, the waiting governor for mumias will say something don't it <laughs> sema pole na kusherekea maisha ya nyanya ambaye ametuacha na shukuru kwamba Mungu ametupatia maisha mazuri na tunaomba akienda mbele atufungulie njia poleni kwa uh, jamii ambayo wamepoteza mama 
Okay, Sandy. Sasa wako nakuja ni wake wa watoto wa hawa. Watoto wa wetu. Yaani watoto wetu sisi tukoe na watoto wanolewa. Are you joking? Sasa hao wamemaliza. <laughs> okay, brothers and sisters. Za moyo kina wakiongozwa na njini na msioka. Ni family ya Zibo, mzee Kobe. Nasma yati wa sisters na 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 mzee kuna ngomie eh kimani chama bindu eh ni ngono mweba na ulo kudika na wetu wasa ka representative ndu kuma ba kimani ke la oba nga ngano ruga ba mitoli oh ti ye ho chini mo tigwe picha yane huyo mama asalimie kwa niaba ya family ya mzee Kobe na akisalimiana nephews na nieces to the late wakuje mzee Kobe alikuwa ni baba ya hawa alikuwa anasema yeye ni mfupi and he wish to live 300 years kama Kobe haya kaina semwa nyo ni mkeje ndaya ne yesu kia sio moyo sio na kwa ni mseo kama na ndomba ya nsi Waiku matuko 14 ndana wa katatu Haitu onye and adigwa na imuno Na ndana na mentu wa kuboya na isie Na munanga ni kwa mumbi na asia kana ngai nundu niwe wa wa munengi edani Nina kunenge ya wewe kana na kiotuke Na nengi ni wadumu yo unusu Wao ona nyumba ya nsi boze onde Lunge Atwa wako nda ulo ya nyumba ya nsi No mwisi ya nsi ya keni ya seno mwisi Nuna no, bibi kite muno Na nengi Nengu kati ya kwa mano di Mwia seo kwa mano ya mwia Na kwa nengu wa kia kana usuni mwia tuwa kwa Na niwa wako mwuku Indi nunde ete muno ya masako Nemo nini nondo ninya ni mukuwa wana na nyendo ayo kwa mba ka mira ni wambi yende ati yanga ko eba ondo wande ane kwa na ne biko haya nienda ne bisi sia mamisi otongo ewe ni kielelo mutuko anzebela na job munyao ala me baba kuve mokyo kwa mutuko nunde ko hunga session isu eh kuna ujumbe mama ke chief mua ametuma na message muelezewe and i would like to ask mr chief senior chief awapatie nyenyi huo ujumbe maana yeye ndo ametumwa sini ile kande ile kande ujumbe wa my two ya sai mume tu bese nesa bai pando manio wa atena my two kuwaka mwana kuea maiti donu na maitu aneni eki ni wa katano wa maitu na ni ritaya mako suu kite na maitu aneni eki ambi ye nuke kwasia ila mokie mosio ena esta mekala nisie tamu na muna niwa ya komo estena niwa na asia kikuni cha matania kulika na mwea wangai na nuku mkama na ina miaka miongo tandatu na ambia ena esta ndonge matani ya hiki kuo kisa na wala mwenge hae ok na ina niya siya na kebe tichawe unge wa matini thayu ko mwega 
Aiyuma muiso kune na. Ulai na dagu a kuzeke. Mbuko yuluru no visa kwenye kana dita panali. Bara muiza mnyuke. Iye kani mukai dia koma na mnyaste. Mnyaste ingi. Aito mnyaste. Living the history of Kokapia and the Akomena War. Till the Sindu being it to Nakunena Nundu, Nutuete, Nimuina, where they Na Nutuete Mono Nundu, Nilika Nai Vita, Timwana, it was part of the media. Na Ito kwa kubuku mako, mawe ya maa moko, pina kina chief. Ni moka pito, mako ka utoteleza. Kuhendete kwa na siyana very active, maudule. Ondu mweda mwewa. Amen. Na, na umisi siyana, siya hivwa kuhinyunga chapati, kundu siya wana beka nijia. Kwa ito yu, kana ito yu, Nwe ndiye kumana uweso witu wako ya nduwe ya natuami na utokoma. Na enda atu ya mbo kwa iwa yu mingi, mbo tika na mwede nosu. Na hindi wede ya tekula nye na tiwe kwa nunga. Na hindi kila chaifani nundu kwa hiye na tuwa huona, atu ya chaifati. Juhu, ya ikidu, ya very funny nundu, nubu nye. Na chapati kia ichi one kangi. Na keno kwa ni watu eche chapati. Na hindi nundu nongi. Na tuye. We really did it. Nitu wa hiye. Na nitu wa hiye. 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 Kwa u. Choka mwome indika seo ka uli indika na. Ni watuwe kie nesa na we watuwe hiye. Ni waka kwito kwa na umai wito. Oka. Nitu wa hiye. Nitu wa hiye. Nwe da ekuye leu okite kwa na sei elile. Kwa u alamatiwa na enda wendosu kwa extendewe. Kula ti na yu matine Richard. Nwe ti ya manuwa esu kuwe. Makwatele inu basi onde. Na nuru kwa ta nasia etu masia ila kwe pata. Na nitu teta nasia ila kwe pata. And the farm we are buying. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you know, no, you are my sister. No, see my daddy alone. Ah, okay, okay. You know, I'm not gonna get the love. I'm gonna get the girl. Losa. I'm gonna get the girl. Losa. 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 Tuingie ndani, tuingie ndani kabisa. Baba muda, ndio ati we mbaka kabole, okay. Eh, mulo. Kedi ya kuma ndio anataka iko. Kama kwa mwe. Kwa kwa Kilo de beje ba inyomo la matula, na yendi na na deto bini ulo amaito, maito e de ye, yao kumana, dunu kijiga schoolu, yao tu ya schoolu, na yendi ni fifty five, huo maito kwa maito alange, ba maito, maito ana mweka lo ake, kuita vouch, kaina bumbu mosi. Sana, jamu ni kalo bune kala. One of their children is the chairman of UDA, Kenya. Johnson, currently at Italy. Ametuma Salam. But he's watching you from uh, live streaming kwa YouTube. So wanajiri wakua Italy na wengine mutaba mungu ni mutesia akiwa mina sota USA is following what is happening. Okay, sasa tunakuja kwa mwotos. 
exactly what happened. Because on Thursday, I tried to talk to my two Hapa Kua na Hawa in Jamia Toka Zekobe. Saudi could not come out. Then I called my friend, Mr. Omito, who is our regional geologist in the Veta. From Abia, my mom, she's not doing well. He was out even in Mesquia. The video to Rikua Hapa, Jamuri Day from Friday, Paka Monday, to Kasubuzia, Mengitna, that I don't know, Mama Ken. Akasema tukutane Easter holiday Tukule ngombe Kwa sababu hii tumekula mbozi wa wiki Then foolish The medics Of this family Gathered together When they did the review on Mwaito Dr. Anari Mackenzie And Richard Na Mama Masi Wakatoka wakahenda pembeni Nikaona nika wana nongone sana Wakasema sasa huu mwili uko katika vegetative situation and there is nothing that could be administered on my tools body pass rate was low everything in kwachi so tukiwa na kikao jioni mama Kenya akasema eh sasa insta dio tunakuja tukule ngombe huyo dr richard yule akasema ni sawa mama Kenya kemo mwetu akembo so that is what happened. These are two good ladies. One of two is a good two. Isuri Sana. Isuri Sana. God bless you. Sandy. I mean, you see, I said, you know, I'm not going to work at that. Okay. What? That's what I'm going to do. What? 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 Kuna pictures na mashemenji. Kutoka kikuyu wa kiongozwa na Mr. Irungu. Deni Chanzavi. The slopes of Mount Kilimamboko, uh, Alaska Fungu, people from Eldoret, Mukalwa, eh, Mbanga, Nawadui, Nasengani. How oh, are you going to come here? We are going to come here and come here and come here. We don't want to waste time and I'm not good in talking much. My dear, it's a zim one. Walau jantaku aku karibi apa? Mau kutoka jantaku aku karibi? Nama jantaku aku kutoka kabumbu aku karibi. Kau nak pijat saya ke aku ni ada tujuh puluh ten minutes. Ia di faham dia kota Terengganu. Family aku kutoka Jandaro. Terengganu nak apa tiambu? Pak Mama Jenga. Saya sambil kujeli. Wakabu mu aku api. Alam mu ayat dore tu akaribie. Kafumu aku bosa nama kau ti nanti memuat nama ni untuk kat telembu. Kafumu, kakao kilonzi, then Eldoret, wafuate, na probation staff from Machakos County, wakuje, na grupi ya kutoka kaita. Picha pekia. Tuingia kwa tent, tafadhali. Edore tu wakaribia Hiyo ni video inatoshe hata ukikuja luko na chukuli wa keti chini Hiyo ni mambo ni digital Utatoka tu mahali yuko tu Edore tu ikieni Edore Watu wakutoka Edore Please Wengine wamefika asubuhi Edore tu ikieni kwa Alamu mukaru wa wawo ya kwa karibu Eldoret wa India, mukaruwa wa kaya stage. Hi, how are you watu wa kutoka Eldoret? I'm very short from Bayete. Kwa mzee Mswahili. Hi. Next. Ni mukaruwa diyo hii. Sengani. Wacha kwanza hii Eldoret. 
Because we talk about Sammy Floyd. Kuka, kuja. Kuja. Just Sammy Mia to talk about Amen. <laughs>
Minister of Interior. We have uh, Josephine Mwakio, formerly Josephine Mutua from Tara, married to Taita, a Taita man. She is a teacher in Taita Veta. Then we have Mr. Omito. Omito is our regional geologist, Minister of Mining, based in Taita Veta County. And the doubles is the manager for James Center. Now you know. Next, we have Sang Kipkoech, not the brother to Sang of ICC, but he is from Kericho. I think they are the same people. He is working with our national treasury as our cashier, Ebo cashier. Mukita Kapesa Yote, Ona Huyo, na Jose. Then we have areas working with NRB, National Registration Bureau. Then we have Norman Mualega. ICT authority. We have PKZ. PKZ ni mtoto wa sadaka. Manake wazazi wake wote walikuwa ni pastors. Na tunafanya naye, he is in charge of uh, social protection. Taita Veta. We have Mr. Mwambile, Richard Mungoti Mwambile from Kadiriani, formerly with the uh, schools auditing in Taita Veta. And then there is this one gentleman. Oh, brother wa pastor. I think that to no. be okay. Ah, uh, sasa tunaenda kwa Hapo alafu. Jose huyo accountant ya Salimi because accountants they be, they behave like they don't know how to talk. Hello, hello. Kwa majina mimi naitwa Joseph Kelly. Nafanya na ofisi ya the National Treasury. Na tunafanya kazi na tunamtaka kule Tete Martins ama Edward Na huyu mama mimi sijawahi kumuona kwa macho nilikuwa namuona tu kwa picha lakini kama yeye ndio amelea huyu na akalea wengine then eh, amefanya kazi kubwa kwa sababu inaandikwa utajua mti kwa matunda yake na tunda si hili eh ah sasa watu walamu wakuje na tufuate na high school alumni aile desia na sisi tumusita asiana sia tembo we have to give time and the for them okay. to get education and the food on the table. Our wame toka amu and tapatia mama alete salamu sa amu salamu peke yake kwa atini sani wana yesasiwe kwa majina na ipo uskaveria na toka sehemu salamu nimekuja kwa sababu ya kufariki wenzangu hapa na mimi ni mkazi wa huko lakini nimewapea msichana ndio huko kwa hiyo wakati Mungu abariki Arena, Arena, Ministry, to what is that? Oh, Bu Mumias, Francis, Mr. Francis Idokomoni, from Mumias, Kenya. Our dear one, what you want to use a mirror, and it's for you to come cool, and you talk about Mumias, Mr. Francis Idokomoni. Well, I think you have to come back to the city of Mumias. Now you have to ask the question. The question. The question. The question. Arena wa Arena Arena to wa Mamambalu wanaendelea hawa ni wabezi karibuni hapo karibu ndio muweze piga picha hata mama kitu nafikiri anajiunga na wao na Nairobi mko na maneno Pastor, salimiana tu ile uhuru wa Yesu. Au siubiri uhuru wa Yesu. Amen. God bless you. We are praying for the family and the Lord is going to give you victory. Thank you very much. Thank you. Matumbulu dispensary? Yes. Good pastor. Na ile ndio zinyi amna shida. Mtu anakuja hapa anazungumza. Zungumza na ongeza maneno mengine. Haya. Bali matumbulu dispensary. Kwa matumbulu wakuje. Alumni ni wakiongezwa na Bwana Musa wakuje. Tala. Kama wako. Alafu sasa tunaingia kwa churches. 
Chache zimekuwa ready. Tunataka kuenda fast fast. Because time is not on our side. Before Chachi starta discussion wa kuje hapa. Yes. Karibieni hapa. Tala high school alumni. Eh, bagi tujionana 40 years ago. Tingia kwa ten. Songea mbele hapo kwa ten. Hey! Alumni Matifo, 51 years ago, Tala High School. Salama! Hata papatile ni alumni, hata cham dan cham ni alumni. Hey! Waze! Salama! Katala High School huwa wanaishi miyaka nyingi sana. Hawa wote majority wako homo is going to 90. Thank you so much. Mama Florence kuja upidi ya picha. Na kuna watoto tulisahau Kina judi watoto mabidi saa kina David That time David and your cousins Your wives na waku pigia picha kwa kuje Kwa kumbuzo na Asani pia kwa MC wetu wa Willy Na vile coordination inaenda Nataja machache ya mama kwa vile ndiye ametulea vile ni nena hapa mama kwa serikali maisha yake ameti amri na sheria za nchi yetu ya Kenya kimaendeleo mama mmesikia aliolewa na ijili 54 1957 hiyo kawa ilipandwa huko ukambani ilikuwa ya settlers kule kwa estate na mama na baba walipanda ile kawa mnaona hapa na walikuwa namba saba katika tosadi ilikuwa na wana isa 1016 namba saba hiyo ilikuwa ya mzee akasaka kawa kwa factory huu mtu unaitwa makandamia na mtu wa kwanza ulipandwa pale yule unaona na watu walikuwa wanakuja kuona utaalamu wa huo mtu kwa sababu mzee huo makandamia na plundi by itself that is ukiwa not approved by the government na sisi ngo se cooperative officer na ndiye alikuwa anaye na watu wa agriculture alipewa first priority hiyo mepata pili wakati jacket ni ya tungulu AIC matungulu in immediate na 1958 aliungana na kina mama na baba na, na wazee wale wengine wakatengeza matofali ambayo walirushania tofali moja moja wakajenga katuanya primary school That is 1958 through community mobilization hiyo mami alikuwa mstari wa mbele hii shule yetu ya uamani ilipoanzisha hapa mwaka wa 66 watoto wake wakiwa hapo alikaa hapo kama treasurer zaidi ya miaka 20 na kitu wa hiyo shule akiwa anaweka fedha za shule na alikuwa a, na, na maedi teacher ambao walikuwa wamesoma mpaka wengine wakawa education officers EG Gideon Kieti alikuwa anapewa pesa na mama upande wa ukulima mama hapa kwake kuna gala pale there's a grand event this is educate you bali nataka nisikizwe vizuri kwa sababu utaona bali imeandika hiyo kitu ile shamba ya mama alikuwa anajasa ile ngala mahindi na shamba iko juu hii ni kaawa mpaka wale wa mama wengine wakosa chakula alikuwa anakuja hapo anapatia nusu ndebe ya ya, 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 ya mahindi na kuota ya marako kusaidia acha niwaambie mama maisha yake akidana watoto wako wamekukuswa shule wakati huo ilikuwa shilingi ishirini alikuwa anachukua watoto anarudisha kwa shule 
ukarimu wake vile Teddy ameongea lanji ilikuwa inamwaka kwa tre na tunakula sisi so sisi sote nilikuwa nataka hata bishop wetu ajue akutembea kutoka Nairobi bure kile tunaongea naongea kitu nililewa nikiwa mtoto toti la toti la na sasa niko na miaka 60 mzee wa mama ni wale wale soma kuanza wakati Kenya even before independent hakuna mtu area alikuwa amesoma kushinda Johnson Matingi Mwicha sasa mwaka wa 61 na moja, alienda Israel mwaka wa 65 alienda Canada mwaka wa 74 alienda Zambia na wakati mama aliona baba anasunguka sana anasunguka sana katika dunia aliacha ualimu akiwa akiwa mwalimu akaja nyumbani kutengeneza mboma na kuangalia kila kitu na hata mashamba iliyokuwa anaona shamba inauswa na anaelezea mzee mzee anakuja ananua nini ananua hiyo shamba that is esther ndunge matii wakati tulikuwa na mikutano ya serikali hata kabla sija sijaanjiriwa ukiwa na Paramount Chief Savando akija yule mama alikuwa wa kutengeneza mesa pala ndizi watakaa ilikuwa Esther Ndunge Matinge na kutoka kwa Esther mi niliiga na mwishowe mzee alipokuwa cooperative akaniweka cooperative nikafanya akaniambia toka cooperative nikawa ni assistant chief nikaja nikawa chief natukaa na mzee hapa na mama mzee akatuaga 2000 mama alipoachwa sasa mama tumekaa nayo kutoka 2000 ili nimalizie Richard na Nazi na washukuru na wale wengine for the provision you provide to the mom bishop huyu mama alikuwa anawekwa maji akiwa hapa kwa mboma yake alikuwa anaangaliwa eo yake akiwa hapa na hakuna siku tulikuja tuli tukakosa chochote huo ni usemaji wangu na wamejaribu na tuombe tuwe na professional katika mboma setu kwa sababu mambo ya kuangaliwa kiafya ilikuwa Richard mwenyewe ndiye anaangalia mama damu inaenda mna gani ako na shida gani mpaka Mungu akampumzisha wale mmekuja niliwashukuru mukirudi mjue tume tumesindikisha shujaa kwa shujaa ambaye itachukua miaka kupata mtu kama yeye sawa na huyu sasa tunaingia kwa makanisa na kanisa noi tunaengae kila mtu akanena nikutano nilo pastor boya na wa dela bata ndio hivyo ah yu tuambia na makanisa na tuambia na salvation hami makadara tukuje salvation hami kwa mulinga kujeni ili tumpishe aliye na neno Makandara moyoke na makandara yuma kwa mulinga kama kuna picha au jasikia ijaandikwa mama flo e, toka mwana come with your group mama ke florence please fanyeni haraka na ninashangaa huyu mama ke ni tangu atoke Nairobi bado ni wa salvation na mimi makandara Excuse me, give us a break. Tusonge mbele, tusonge. Songe ni hapo mbele, wacha kuokopa kape. Ni yenu. Eh si kwa mulinga bana ni kadara. Kwa mulinga, where are you from the swamps of Kilimanjaro? Alafu kwa tunakuja la eh sitana haraka haraka nataka kumaliza eh sitana kweli chonjo kitu mnaongozwa na Dr. Charles Kilonzo Tuingie ni hivi kiasi sisi wote Dr. Charles Kilonzo kabuni junior tunaongoza eh sitana
Hii ni mama ke Flores from Mwana. Flores mtoto wake ameolewa mboma hivi. Ai, e aí se talam que eu vou usar o meu chance e não sou o meu tabu do dia. Utiango family na maulu family Waji Alam tumalizia na AIC katua nya Alo, alo, kuna nisikia? Kama naona ziwane ni Ni bibu Mimi hakila mtu, amijambo Mimi Jambo anasema mtu Ako kwa hiko Zizi Pasta ya ndelea kusumusha Uyo pasta ni weko Kala ya IC Ya nata kushukulu hii nyumba kwa sababu mze Kemsa ni matini Niyo muanzishi kwa kala ya IC Inacho fact Mze matini Palap at the time in Tala AIC Inside the church Na katuachia Musingi mzuri sana Tukajenga hiyo kanisa Hile naeso kaa watu kama elfu mbili saa hii Na nashukuru ndunge kwa sababu Esther na muitanga ndunge Ya metolea Na nimeona watu wengi sana Kiangalia hii bomo ya ndunge Kijana wake waine Utajua ndunge ya likuwa mtu ke Na mnagani kwa sababu vile mnaona hapa manyumba makubwa makubwa ndiyo taona huko nyumba huko juu huko na zikini na wao walikuwa hapo jana wote walikuwa wanafanya kazi na ndunge ndiye alikuwa anajenga hii manyumba nimeona ma in law zia nikaona brothers in law nikaona fathers in law daughters in law lakini ndunge mwenyewe alikuwa the law kwa hiyo mcheche na nasema Mungu amreceive kumbikoni tutakutana naye tukienda huko Asante. Thank you so much, Dr. Charles Kilozo. You forgot to tell them that I also act as the chairman of the Ziwani. Ziwani, you are going to ask off. Yes. Ziwani. Ziwani, here is the bishop. Bishop, you are going to ask off. Oh, okay. Okay, you are going to ask off. Yes, you are going to ask off. Yes. You are going to ask off. You are going to ask off. Yes. Family, you are going to ask off. Na ya maundu. Ingia tu kwa picha. Kuna mtu anajificha hapa. Kevin. Sawa. Uyo mpaka uchore. Manaki ata sitani kama iyo picha ikatoka. Kwa sawa sawa. Asande. Kevin. Kuna light touch. Katua nyaa kujeni. Haa. Kuna hawa. Kutiango family. Kwa hivyo katua nyaa ipe picha. Katua nyaa. Kwa hivyo katua nyaa. Kwa hivyo katua nyaa. Kwa hivyo nyaa. Hawa naona tu wako. Just like that. These are two families. Mtiango ya maundu. Eh, eh, mutiango wameoa msichana ya hapa ya KDF na maundu nao pia wamechukua pia msichana hapa awa awa uh, sande kwa kwa pia wa AIC katuwe nya we are now summing up isu ni AIC katuwe nya eh awa wengine msijani picha mwepigwa nyingi hata ziko kwa youtube like streaming Everybody is viewing what is happening here. Kwa hivyo utaonekana kusi lazima usimame hapa mbele. Atua nyaa. Make sure umeona pastor lady. Manaki ya tupaki shida mkitoka hapa. Nisawe. Kwa hivyo mbika atua nyaa. Ya sasa naita wachungaji kujeni. Wale wachana wako wapi? Wote kujeni kujeni. You girls come. Na tunataka mtu mwingine sasa. You come. Na mjua hawa ni Edward sio mimi. Eh sasa nini because of that reason. Simameni hapo mpigwe. Wachungaji ni nyote wachungaji wote wakuje ili tupigwe picha alafu afundu uh, afundu welfare ikuje. Ya Nairobi.
the Commonwealth of Nairobi. Now that will be the last group. Welfare ya kavumbu, whether Nairobi or Muzi. Mutakuja kwa wakati moja na murudi. Na mbisho kwa kiaogea, kuna mtu mingini ataogea. Kwa hiko si shoba, kisha ogea, nyinyi ya kuna kuongea. Na ninaupea maiki saa hii. Kita wapune kezu ya kuna kata. Kwa niyaba ya wachungaji, tunapuendelea kutiandaa kupipa picha na hito asikofu Joshua Kimuyu, asikofu wa eneo la Nairobi, Melissa la AIC, wapale AIC Ziwani, na tuku hapa wale wana watoto Ziwani na pia wachungaji wote hawa, na sumabi ya watoto wa mama mbao wako maeneo maeneo ya inji yetu, na wachungaji hawa wanawakilisha jamii hiyo ya mama yetu, kuonyesha kwamba hawa ni watoto ambao wamelelewa vizuri katika kanisa na walikoenda na kutawanyika wameingia katika makanisa na kwa hivyo tunashukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya jinsi mama alitia juhudi kuwalea watoto hawa jambo la pili ni sema kwamba wakati mzazi anaondoka huwa kabisa ni nguzo ya jamii ya kuleta umoja na amani na ombi letu ni kwamba kutokuepo kwa mama usije kukaleta kulegevu wa ule umoja alio ujenga na amani alio ujenga bali mambo alio waachia na mafunzo alio waachia kukutana pamoja yaweke maanani ili kwamba ushirika huo uendelee hivyo inamaanisha kwamba ngombe aliyokuwa aliwe mwezi wa 4 masaka tafadhali eh, mwandaye apoteza maisha wakati huo ili kwamba jamii waendelee kuwa pamoja nimesema kwa ndugu yetu Edward wakati tunafika kipindi cha kanisa kawaida hakuna grupu zingine zinaingia huko katikati huo ndio utaratibu basi tunaomba ya kwamba umpe kiongozi nafasi ili amalizie vizuri na bwana atubariki asante okay so we... thank you so much bishop umesumbuliza kabisa kama bishop kutoka eh, capital city of kenya nairobi <laughs> kabisa okay huko nisa ameanza kwa mtu mwenyewe aiko nae na mundo de bishop boka nae na muka hiyo hozu ngewezi se iko eu ro tipo isabu na mundo de nene aí vamos ver isso lá por isso a dois e por diante é ele a possível mundo caribe tu ganha de capet tu anda ali o co Aya please ado worship ukai. Kujeni, kikundi cha kusifu na kuabudu kujeni. Ah tutasimama sisi zote tusifu. Alafu ah kwa heshima yote nitamwalika pia Scofield atakuja aombe kwa ajili ya mmenaji tukiwa na hiyo kipindi ya kusifu. Scofield atakuja aombe ili kuwa na kipindi cha mmenaji. Mweke mweke please ado worship na mume cha kanisa leba. Ona ile itaba na sianga hali ile ile aloka. Abad gue isi. wasifiwe. Naomba kama uko na nguvu kapate kusimama kwa ajili ya kuabudu.
hivyo basi tuombeni pamoja Baba yetu na Mungu wetu tunapenda kusema asante Asante kwa umbali ambao umetuleta katika sherehe za leo za kumzindikisha mama yetu nyanya yetu rafiki yetu mlezi wetu Kuna mengi ambayo Bwana yametokea katika shuhuda zilizosemwa na wengi Mwapenzi wetu kama Bwana hata kabla hatujasikia neno lako mengi mazuri yani ni kwamba tukatafuta jinsi ambavyo tunaweza kuyatimiza ili nazi tuzidi kuboresha maisha yetu kwa ajili ya utukufu wako. Tunaomba pia asasi keze na neema yako Bwana iwe juu yake. Na ili Bwana kwa ufasaha wa usemi anaposema nasi neno lako. Tunaomba ufungue masikio yetu ya ndani tukakusikie usema hapo nasi na hasa tunapo Reverend Matibo. Eh tukizungumza pale nimejua alisomea kule chuo cha Biblia. Ambako mimi ndio mwenyekiti wa wale waliosomea kule. Kwa hivyo Mungu ametuita ili tuweze kumtumikia. Kwa hivyo labda nilikuwa nikitaka tu mimi nilimrekebishe. Ah uh, endwa na wale wengine labda wana fikiria juu ya watoto wa shangapi. Nime fundisha mama tangu mwaka wa 82. Um, labda hamsini. Akiwa ana uwezo wa kutembea mpaka tala sokoni akiwa wa mama vizuri na mjua wa baba vizuri ma baba alikuwa disciplinary alikuwa mwenye kutumia kiboko vizuri kwa hivyo hao watoto wapelelewa hawakunyimwa chochote na wazazi wao kama ni shule kama ni sandi school kama ni kiboko walitandikwa vizuri kwa hivyo ndio sababu tunawaona wakiwa vile wako siku ya leo tupendelea kwa sababu ya wakati tulichelewa ili tulikubaliana ya kwamba walichelewa uh, hata machapos wengine wanaenda mbali labda wengine wametoka usiku wakaingia huku usiku ningependelea niseme machache nilipoulizwa nilipoulizwa na familia na the, the, the host the pastor reverend john musau na the other pastors from Katwana kwa sababu mimi nimestaafu nimefanya kazi ya bwana miaka nikatimiza miaka ya kustaafu bishop alikuwa anashangaa nikimwambia kwamba nimestaafu 4 years karibu 4 years ago Mungu amenipa neema na saidia sana mimi napendelea kutunza wazee kama mama kwa injili nikienda kwao mimi nawatunza nikiona vijana wao mimi nasungumzia vijana unajua siku hizi vijana wanawachilia wazee wazee wanawachiliwa nyumbani vijana wanaenda Nairobi na hata wengine wanasahau mimi nasungumzia wa vijana na kuambia ya kwamba kama unataka baraka kutoka kwa mzazi tunza mzazi kwa hivyo watoto wa mama 
ongera kwa sababu nimejifunza mama nilikuwa nikija hapa mama alikuwa msafi uh, tam, nili, niliita wajukuu baada ya kupeleka jeneza mwili kwa nyumba niliita wajukuu wake nikawaambia nataka ili jeneza liwe kama kioo nikiangalia jeneza niwe ninaweza kujiangalia kwa sababu mama alikuwa msafi Neno la leo ambao nilipewa sio neno geni nilipewa tu neno ambalo kila mtu anaweza kuelewa nayo ningependelea niiseme kwa kikamba kwanza kwa sababu mimi najua kuna mama ambao karibu nikala huyu ambao wako hapa na hawezi kufuata labda Kiswahili ah ningependelea niseme maisha yangui dai wangui ula wikala dai wangui Aisha na ngui Hawa na ngui Akuwa na ngui Akusa na ngui Na adika wa na ngui Labda wali abawo siyo wakamba Unajua nasungumzia maisha ya binadamu Siyo mchezo wakamari Kikwa jeku Siyo maisha ya binadamu Maisha ya binadamu yanatokana na Mungu mwenyewe. Mungu mwenyewe ndio aliumba binadamu. Mungu mwenyewe uhai. Binadamu akawa mwenye uhai. Baadaye binadamu akao Mungu akamwambia mke na maisha akaanza katika ulimwengu huu. Kwa hivyo maisha ya binadamu sio mchezo wa kamari bali ni mpango wa Mungu. Nikapendelea niseme ya kwamba Biblia inasema juu ya maisha ya binadamu. Hakuna binadamu ambao anaweza kutengenezea maisha ama aseme ya kwamba mimi niliu, niliumba speciali, niliumba mtu wa, wa pekee. Ndiye sababu mimi nimeishi nimeishi maisha ambayo nimekaa. Mama tumesema ya kwamba ma, mama aliishi maisha ya Kuseme maisha mazuri, maisha ya kupendeza mungu Kwa sababu walichagua Wale ambao wanachagua kumu, amini, kumuasi mungu Kumti haki mungu Wanaishi maisha mabaya Na ndiyo sababu nikasema kwa kikamba ya kwamba Wanaishi maisha ambao ni ya kuchezea Wanachezea maisha kutoka utoto, uzee Na hata wakifa tunawazika katika maisha ya kuchezewa kwa hivyo siku ya leo ningependelea kila mmoja wetu ambao tumekuwa shahidi mashahidi tumekuja kushuhudia maisha ya mama kama wabaya ni binadamu mwenyewe ambao anachagua maisha mabaya binadamu ndiye anachagua kwa sababu wakati Mungu aliumba binadamu katika shamba la Eden kutokana na mwanzo mlango uh, wa pili mstari wa saba Mungu akamwomba binadamu kutoka kwa magumbe akampuni. Mpango wa Mungu haukuwa mwanadamu apotee. Isipokuwa tunaona tu mlango wa, wa, wa tatu katika kitabu cha mwanzo binadamu alichagua. Binadamu alichagua maisha ya, 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 ya kuchezea Mungu ama kukana vile Mungu alimwambia. Tunaona katika mlango wa tatu wa kitabu cha mwanzo wakati binadamu alitembelewa tuseme uh, Adam na mkewe walitembelewa na nyoka akiwa shetani akiwa ndani ya nyoka kitu ambacho shetani aliwaambia ni ya kwamba kile ambacho waliambiwa na Mungu hakikuwa haki ama kweli na hiyo ndio vile tu shetani mwenyewe akija kwako Kwanza anataka kukana maani, amini, Biblia, anataka kukana neno la mungu Ya kwamba mungu yale ya meandika, yale ya mepeana, siyo pedi Kwa hivyo katika shamba la edeni, tunaona ya kwamba Adam na bibi yake waliambiwa ya kwamba mungu aku Isipokuwa tu uliambiwa msikune matunda Mungu alijua, alikuwa na sababu Sababu yenyewe ilikuwa wakati ambao mtakula, mtakuwa kama mungu na kusema kweli hawakuwa kama Mungu walielewa tunguliwa macho walikimbia wakajificha wenyewe wao na wale ambao waliwaona ama wale wao wao wenyewe ndio walisema ya kwamba tuko huji basi baada ya kufunguliwa macho tunajua ya kwamba 
mpango wa Mungu isipokuwa tu waliharibu mpango wa Mungu lakini Mungu akaendelea tu na upendo wake kwa binadamu isipokuwa tu walifukuzwa katika shamba la Eden na walipofukuzwa katika shamba la Eden kabla hawajafukuzwa mwanzo tatu kumina na ukakula tunda ambalo nilikwambia usikule dunia kwanza imea imelaaliwa dunia imelaaliwa kwa sababu ya binadamu of choice akawa anaweza kuchagua lakini Mungu hakutaka arudi kwa shamba kwa sababu alisema binadamu amekuwa kama sisi amini utatu wa binadamu wa, wa Mungu kwa hivyo akafukuzwa Mungu akaweka malaika kwa shamba ili binadamu asirudi lakini lakini Mungu alikuwa tu anapenda binadamu nikitendo kwa uchi na akawafukuza kwa shamba kwa hivyo chaguo nasungumzea juu ya chaguo sisi binadamu tunapendelea sana kuchagua mambo kulingana na wengi wale ambao watu wengi wamechagua hiki hata mimi nitachagua hiki lakini chakula la mwenyewe ya kusema ya, 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 ya wateule wa lakini njia ya, ya waofu itapotea kwa hivyo ukichagua njia mbaya wewe mwenyewe wewe umechagua njia ya kupotea chaguli lako hakuna mtu ambaye atawachagulia watoto ambao wamewaja na mama sasa kuendelea vile bishop amealimwombea chaguo itakuwa yeye mkiamua tu maisha ya ukristo yaendelee kudumu katika nyumba ya baba na mama mtaenda itadumu lakini mkichagua tu mtoe Yesu katika nyumba yenu atatoka Biblia inasema ya kwamba nasimama mlangoni na kupisha ufunuo tatu ishirini yeyote ambao anasikia atanifungulia mlango nitakula naye naye atakula pamoja nami kwa hivyo chaguo wale ambao tumekuja kusindikisha mama tujue ya kwamba isipokuwa tu tunangojea Krismasi si ni Jumapili wanaume wamechagua kula nyama na kunywa pombe hata kina mama siku hizi sio wakati ambao kina mama wako akina bodo wanawake wanakula pombe wengi wamechagua wengi wamelisha mbuzi wengi wamenunua crates wakapeleka nyumbani na unajua wakati mimi nilikuwa nikisomesha watoto wa mimi vijana kuna mara nyingi ambao nilikuwa tukienda nje tu tunakuta watoto vijana wa shule nimesukuta secondary schools ya kamili hata ile boss tuki kanisa ule mtoto chini tumuulize we nataka kujua ni kwa nini umechagua kuna pombe wakati ulimpeleka mosho wengi walikuwa wakituambia ya kwamba wakati wa Christmas baba akinunua sanduku mzima mabaki sisi ndio tunamaliza kwa hivyo wazazi tunawaambia ya kwamba kile ambacho unapanda utavuna wakaratia sita mstari wa saba Mungu hatiyakiwi uzidanganyike Mungu atiyakiwi kile binadamu anapanda atavuna na unajua mara nyingi tunakuna tukiwa katika dunia hii Petro alimuuliza Yesu Mungu bana wale ambao wamekufuata na kuacha mali yao na kukufuata itakuwaje Yesu akawaambia ya kwamba hapa ulimwenguni mtavuna mia moja kwa mia moja na mahali ambao tuendako uzima wa milele kwa hivyo wazazi na ili ni honyo kwa wazazi Christmas tunalala kesho tuamkie Christmas. Mimi najua hata wengine wako na crates nyumbani wamenunua ziko chini ya kitanda. Ni 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 meat plus. Nyama plus. Inaongezwa kinywaji. Vijana wengine kusema kweli wanapotea ke, leo Ijumaa mpaka wapatikane Jumatatu. Kwa nini? kwa sababu wameona mchezo wa Ukristo katika nyumba. Unajua kile ambacho Biblia inasema ni ya kwamba hata kama mtu muovu sifa ya mwenye ubaya hata kama itapanda mpaka kwa mawingu. Biblia inasema hivi. Hata kama mtu mbaya sifa zake zitapanda mpaka kwa mawingu 
mwisho zitapotea kama maafi yake hayo sio maneno yangu ajubu ke 20 mstari wa 7 inasema hivi usi amini usi shangae wakati mtu mbaya labda anapata mali mtu mbaya anapata sifa mtu mbaya hata kama akienda hata kama sifa zake zitaenda mpaka kwa mwingu mwisho atapotea kama maafi yake Zaburi 49 inasema ya kwamba watu waofu watapotea kama vile wanyama hupotea. Unajua mbinguni mahali ambao tuendako isipokuwa tu mishio kuniambia amesoma mahali atukakuta kuwa wanyama. Wanyama watapotelea hapa duniani. Na maandiko katika Zaburi 49 inasema ya kwamba watu wabaya watapotea kama wanyama vile wanyama hupotea. Kwa hivyo chaguo chaguo ni lako. Leo tukisindikisha mama ambao ameishi maisha ya ajabu mama ambao alichagua mama ambao alichagua mama vile unamuona mtangamfu alikuwa tu anakaa namna hii vile nilikuwa nikita hapo nakuta yeye pe amini na hao wa warembo ambao walikuwa wamenakaa na yeye vile nilikuwa nikimkuta hapa nikifika tu tunaanza kuimba wimbo mimi na yeye mama vile amechagua kuishi maisha mazuri we mwenyewe jitakulie hata kama we ni mtoto wa mchungaji kama mimi na askofu na wale wengine tumbo la la, la, la mchungaji alibebi mkristo inabeba mtu ambao anakataa akizaliwa ni lazima achague unajua watu wengine wanafikiria kwa, ya kwamba watoto wa, wa, wa wachungaji ni wachungaji ama ni wakristo hapana huyo ni binadamu sio roboti sio sadamu ni mtu ambao anachagua lake. Kwa hivyo tunawakiza mtoto unamlea, unampeleka Sunday school, unamwambia Yesu anaokoa, achague. Na akikataa si atapotea na wale wengine. Kwa hivyo sisi wale ambao tumekuja kusindikisha maisha ya mama ambao ameishi mwaka wa 42. Sorry, 82 uh, uh, wakati nilikuja katua nyaya ya AIC 40 years ago baba alikuwa mzee wa kanisa na ile gari yake ambayo unaona hapa mzee tulikuwa tunatembea na hiyo gari huyo mzee huyo ambao hana miguu ye hiyo ndio ilikuwa gari yetu mashuri mimi na yeye tulikuwa tunatembea pamoja na yeye akienda na mchungaji wake ananibeba tunaenda injili na hiyo gari dr close alisema ya kwamba baba wakati alituacha alituachia kwa katika kanisa la AIC tano mimi ndiyo nilikuwa mchungaji amini mhubiri siku hiyo 20 and 20, 20 I mean think it 22 years ago baba tulikuwa tunatayarisha kununua ofisi ya region town tukasungumza baba akasimama akasungumza sana kwa nguvu sana akasungumza kwa nguvu sana nguvu zikamuishia tu nikasikia mzee anaanguka akashikwa haraka dr glonzo ndio alichukua yeye baadaye akarudi akatuambia ametoaga na kutoka hiyo miaka mama akashikilia mboma mama kuwa wale amini unajua kuna mama wengine ambao mimi nasema nikasikwisha kazikwisha baba akiondoka mimi nakumbuka mama mmoja wakati baba aliondoka alichukua watoto akawapeleka kwa masho bangi ilikuwa pande ile nyingine kwa kinango maana ambao tuko na Amini na St. Mark. Bengi ilikuwa huko. Huyo mama akaenda kwa bangi akachukua pesa na hao watoto wakalai na hapa hapa nje. Akawapatia pesa za mzee ambao ameenda. Hiyo boma leo hakuna. Imeisha. Baba mjinga mama mjinga. Si Biblia inasema hivyo. Medali 14 mstari wa kwanza mama mpumbavu anabomoa nyumba yake na mikono yake mwenyewe mama wa mwerefu vile ulisikia ushuhuda wa mama mama hakuchezea maisha vile aliwachwa tu na na mimi na na na, 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 na yake alisimamia boma na unajua hapa kuna mama wengine mzee akiondoka basi simba akiondoka nani anajitawala eh na kijitawala basi anaanza kubomoa mali ya mzee. Biblia inasema ya kwamba ni lazima tuchague. Mama kutokana na Saburi 116. Ya 
inasema ya kwamba heri wale ambao sorry uh, mama anasema Mungu anapendezwa na kifo cha wate ule Zaburi 116 mstari wa 15 Mungu anapendezwa kama kutoka duniani Amependezwa Ufunuo wa 14 mstari wa 13 unasema heri wale ambao wamekufa ndani ya Bwana ili waweze kupumzikia kasi nzito ya ulimwengu huu kwa sababu kazi yao inaandamana pamoja na wao. Je, sisi wale ambao tuko hai tumekuja kusema kweli kusindikisha shujaa. Mama ni shujaa wa imani. Kwa sababu miaka ambao waliokoka wakati nilikuja hapa siku ya Jumamosi niliwaambia watoto wake na wale ambao walikuwa hapa wakati mama waliokolewa babonya na baba ilikuwa wakati ambao wali, watu walikuwa wakifukuzwa nyumbani wakiokolewa ukiokoka unafukuzwa nyumbani wale ambao wamesoma kitabu ya rika moja na mama ya past John Deti Somba mashujaa wa imani John Deti Somba hapo tu angali hai na alizaliwa mwaka mmoja na mama yeye ndiye aliandika kitabu ya literature alipanda upepo akavuna tufani i married my mother's choice hayo ni vitabu ambao john dex somba ameandika ambaye alizaliwa mwaka mmoja pamoja na mama hawa wazee aliandika katika hicho kitabu ya kwamba wengi wa wale ambao waliokoka after second world war walikuwa wakifukuzwa kutoka nyumbani hawa nikawaambia mfano mmoja wa mzee ambao alikuwa anaishi hapo somo wezeu alipokulewa kijiji kizima kikaunganika na wakajiunga pamoja wakagomoa nyumba yake wakafukuza na watoto kina mama wakachukua watoto akaambia waende huku milimani ili ndege waweze kutoa watoto amini macho ya watoto wao huyu mama hakuonea haya wakofu na ndio sababu tuko hapa ndio sababu tumeungana kutoka sehemu zote za Kenya ili tuje kushuhudia maisha ya shujaa wa imani na ndiye sababu Biblia inasema ya kwamba wale ambao tunachagua unajua vile tuliambiwa ya kwamba mama ma, mama ni kupumzika ambao alipumzika unajua uhai ambao mama alipewa mwili ni kama sanduku na inafikia wakati ambao mwili ya uwezi kukalisha uh, roho bila kitu wakati ambao uhai ambao tumepuliziwa na Mungu mwenyewe hauwezi ukakaa kwa mwili kwa sababu mwili umetofika mpaka uwezi ukaka, uka, ukaweka amini pumzi na ndio sababu Biblia inasema katika amini muhubiri 12 mstari wa saba kifo kikiingia mara moja uhai unarudia yule ambao aliupeana na mwili unarudi mavumbi. Kile ambacho tumebaki nacho ni kiwili jamaa. Uhai ambao alipewa na Mungu kama zawadi kubwa. Yesu alisema ya kwamba uhai ume unapita chakula. Na ile unajua sisi watu wengi tunapenda kuamini chakula kuliko ama kusoma Biblia ama kufukuoa. Yesu alisema ya kwamba uhai ambao uko ndani yetu unashinda chakula. Mama hata tukitengenezea yeye keki kutoka Canada. Unajua unafikia anakula. Kwa sababu uhai ambao upenda chakula, upenda mavazi, upenda watu umeondoka ndani yake. Tumeuhakisha tu kiwili wili. Mwili wa mama. Yesu akasema tena uzima wa mwili unapita nguo. Unajua watoto ndio upendelea. Watoto na kina mama ndio wanapendelea nguo za ya Christmas. Si Jumapili tunakutana kanisa. Utakuta mzee ni ile suti ya mwaka wa 80. Lakini kila mama watakuwa na mpya mpya hata kitenge, kitenge ya siku hizi. Huyo mwili ambao unapenda hizo wanapenda kuvaa. Uzima ama mwili ambao uko na afya ndio ubadilishwa nguo nzuri. Ukipelekea mtu ambao amegonjeka hospitali umpelekee suti amekaa hospitali miezi miwili na umununulie suti kutoka Italy 
na umpelekea kama zawadi hospitali baba atakwambia maneno ambao wazee hutumia wakati wanabariki vile mmenitendea watoto wangu hivyo hivyo ha kipimo kile kile tu ambacho mlinipatia wakati nilikuwa hai na mpewe wenyewe ni wangapi hapa ambao wanaweza kuchukua hicho kipimo ha kina mama ambao mko hapa my mother in law ni wangapi ambao utuza amini wazazi wa waume wao mara nyingi huatusi mara nyingi huabandika majina mara nyingi mnawakatasa chakula hata wakizee kipimo kile kile tu ambacho umewapimia utapimewa katika ulimwengu huu utapata mia kwa mia na kule duendako kama umechagua kama umeokolewa kama ume Yesu amebisha kwa mlango wa roho yako na umemfungulia utaguna uzima wa milele kwa hivyo chaguo lako ujue ya kwamba mama alichagua kuokolewa na kutunza uokofu sisi watoto unajua hapa si kuona mzungu nilikuwa nikijaribu tu nione kama ninaweza ona mzungu lakini hatukupata mzungu mmoja isipokuwa tu lugha yao ndio tunasungumza unajua sisi wa Afrika wakati unalea mtoto wakati unasomesha mtoto wakati unagawia mtoto wako shamba ama mali yako ni akiba ukizeeka Sio sio kama western world mtoto anafundishwa anafanywa kila chochote na we anafukuzwa anaenda mbali hapa hapa Afrika mali yako ambao unatumia kwa mtoto ni akiba ambao umeweka kwa mtoto na leo nikisindikisha mama mzee ningependelea nitetee wazee wale ambao na shindwa na kutunza wazazi ambao wamemtunza mjue ya kwamba mnajitafutia laana mekadi 2020 yule ambao anamtusi baba na akufi mekadi 30 mstari wa 17 jicho ambalo linamchekelea baba ama mama hai ya makunguru wa msikwa wa msituni watatoa hayo macho kwa hivyo natetea wazee ujue ya kwamba kama ume mama amekuzaa kulea mama ameweka mali yake ndani yako wewe ni mali ya mama na baba tunza wazazi kama unataka baraka kama unataka maisha yako ya yawe mazuri katika ulimwengu huu bila tumesikia mama hakuchezea wazazi hata wazazi wa mzee wake wale watuza kuna picha moja ambayo kwa ratiba akiwa akiwa na nyanya wa baboma hii kwa hivyo chaguo ni letu leo tuchague vile tunataka anakaa maisha mabaya anakula maisha mabaya anazeeka maisha mabaya ana anakuwa mgonjwa wa maisha mabaya na anakuwa mabaya na tunazika yeye kwa maisha mabaya lakini wale ambao wanachagua wokovu wanachagua uzima wa milele leo chagua uzima leo chagua kutunza wazazi au nipimia wazazi unataka kuna haja wazee wale ambao tuko hapa hakuna hakuna haja ya kukoa maziwa unamwagia watoto unamwagia mawele na vitu vingine maneno machache tu soma biblia baadaye uambie kwamba watoto wangu wajukuu wangu ninampenda sana lakini kipimo ambao mlitopatia kama nyanya kama baba kipimo kile kile tu mtapata mimi najua hiyo ni pilipili kali ambao kumeza sio rahisi mimi najua wengine wanafunga macho na kufi wazazi wetu vizuri kwa hivyo chaguo ni letu 
vile tumekuja kusindikisha mzee wa miaka 92 ningependelea urudi nyumbani ukijua ya kwamba katika maisha haya ya ulimwengu huu ukichagua kuokolewa umechagua uwai umechagua baraka Musa aliwaambia wana kwa wana wa Israeli hivyo kabla hajaondoka kabla hajakufa kabla waja vuka mtu Jordan aliwaambia chaguo ni lenu wa Israeli chagua leo kama mnataka kumtii Mungu mtakuwa umechagua uwai mtakuwa umechagua baraka na hata sisi leo tia bwana chaguo ni la we chagua kuchinja mbusi kukula na kusherehekea siku kuu kwa sababu welewi siku kuu nani mkuu wa shehwa siku kuu without christ there is no christmas without christ una, tunaliita christ christmas bila yesu hakuna christmas nataka tukivuka kesho ujue ya kwamba Yesu ndiye alikuja ulimwengu huu na alikuja kutafuta nani mimi na wewe. Na ni wale tu ambao watachagua. Sio wale ambao watafanya labda kazi. Unajua watu wengi wanasema mimi sio mbaya sana. Mimi nimeenda kuhubiria wazee wengine wananiambia mimi sio mbaya sana mchungaji. Mimi sikuni ombe, si fukusi wa warembo. Mimi sifanyi kitu chochote lakini huyo mtu amekufa. Biblia inasema hivyo. Tule ambao hana mwana amekufa anatembea marehemu. Kwa hivyo chaguo ni lako. Kama unataka kushuhudia ama kusherehekea kesho ya amini siku kuu ya Jumapili tarehe 25. Yesu awe ndani yako. Na Yesu akupatie Christmas njema. Mtapia Christmas njema na mwaka mpya kwa lakini kuwa na Yesu ndani yako unajua Yesu akiwa ndani yako Yesu atakupatia amani ya kutosha Yesu atakupatia mpango wa maisha nimesema ya kwamba maisha ya binadamu ni mpango wa Mungu na michezo mingine ambayo inachezwa hapo unajua kuna watu wengi ambao wamekuwa masikini kwa sababu watu kwaje na hata huo a very serious choice a very serious choice unajua mara, mara, mara nyingi mimi nasema ya kwamba mtu ukata kauli ya kuwa mkristo ni kama mtu ambao amekata kauli ya kuinoa ha anaenda sokoni ananunua gamu ama sivyo ananunua dawa ya panya red cat na wewe ukichezea huyo mtu atakunyonga kabla haja nyonga if you play around with somebody who is planning to i mean to commit suicide ataanza na wewe alafu akinyo kwa hivyo tuwe watu ambao tunachagua Yesu kama mwokozi wetu na baadaye tuishi maisha ya Ukristo kama vile mama mama hata kielelezo kizuri tuseme mstari wangu wa kumwisho ni waraka wa kwanza wa Wakorinto moja mstari wa kwanza Pauli aliwaambia watu wa Wakorinto Eh? Nifuate mimi vile mimi nafuata Yesu. Ni wazazi wangapi ambao wanaweza sema nifuate mimi? Ni wazazi wangapi ambao ni vielelezo nyumbani? Nimesungumzia vijana wengi, vijana wengi wameanza kukataa kuoa. Kwa nini? Kwa sababu ya ndoa ambao ni ya baba yao na mama yao. Wamechoka na kuona baba na mama wanatoleana macho wa spea kelele ambao mnafanya nyumbani wewe na baba bwana yako wewe na bibi yako imeanza kukosea heshima watoto wako na wajukuu wengi wameanza kusema kama ndoa ni ile ya baba na mama kama ndoa ni ile ya babu na nyanya sitao pauli alisema niangalieni mimi mnifuate kama mfano vile mimi nafuata Yesu a uh, kumalizia siku ya Jumapili Christmas kana wa Kristo usikae na watu ambao sio wa Kristo 
kwa sababu wale ambao sio wa Kristo ni wagondo na watakuambukizia we ugonjwa mbaya babi kamba First Corinthians 15 verse 33 bad company ruins good morals marafiki wa baya wanaharibu maisha ya Kikristo Mungu atubariki na Mungu aweze kuwa pamoja nasi Mungu atupatie uh, Christmas njema Mungu aweze kuandamana pamoja nasi tukingojea tu kuvuka mwaka mpya 2023 tuvuke na Yesu tusifuke peke yetu tusifuke watu ambao amini wanakaa maisha mabaya maisha mabaya bishop alipokuwa akiomba amesema ya kwamba kama Yesu atakuja kesho wale ambao tuko hapa Jumamosi Jumapili nilikuwa hapa nikawaambia wale ambao tulikuwa hapa Ukienda bocha ni wale ambao wana kazi ya kuweka miti na hata public bocharies. Ukikaa tu ukikaa hapo hapo tu utasikia wale attendants wa mochari wakisema ah kwambia siku hizi kazi sio nzuri. Wanasema nini? Watu wa mochari wakisema kazi sio nzuri wanasema nini? Atuondoki katika ulimwengu huu. Kwa hivyo kama Yesu atakuja kesho kesho kutwa mtondo mtondo kwa tujue ya kwamba tutaondoka. Je, tutaondoka katika ulimwengu huu? Tukielekea wapi? Nimesema ya kwamba mtu muovu hata kama sifa zake zinaenda mbinguni, maandiko yanasema ya kwamba atapotea kama mafia yake. Na kama sio mafia yake atapotea kama vile wanyama wapotea. Mungu na atubariki. Reverend John Musawa Sande panelo na ulizwa ni peane ili tukaweze kuomba kwa ajili ya neno na namuuliza Namuuliza Pastor Esther Tinda kaunda kwa ajili ya neno. Kisha akimaliza kuomba naomba wana wake ama watoto wake maito na familia yote waje hapa na wachungaji wote wakaribia hapa tukaweze kuwa na maombi yao tukiwa tunaongozwa na wimbo na ya pastor lady Jennifer. Tuombe Isipa ni nataka mimi ya Kristo Yesu mtangi na Mose na dhaima yetu. Tukile isitu yako na kwa nini vya na kusungu cha Mungu ni isitu inene. Chuta yana kutungia ngwe ya Mungu kwa utongo ina usubiri kama kiokoni pia masani masio taya. Sanda nundu wa mambo mambe alafu ameka bandu ni bako andito na kwa meko inani wako. Sanda yo mwanga hiyo itu nundu ido yo mtongo imosio. Nitoyo wili ani wako bandu ni ba na tuna clap tumi cha kutongea mbea osanguma na ndaya hukila cha cha usumbe bila kutaya na kutongea mbea nondo wa kila mundo umunengia kuvika bandu ni ba utongo ni wako bila kutongea mbea nondo si adhina mabinda si wa moko ni mako ni wa manie kuma misingi ya ndeto na bila ya kana mabinda tauwa umunde tukaelewa bandu ni ba kundu wa yo iti ni wita na wako ulo wita ni tebo tena kutungia mbea nondo wa miaka misio ila unaingia mwito pedo wa mwana ito na yo wanga hii ndani yako kwa mdo msia tena kubwa nondo wa siana siake na ondema family yo wanga hii nika nonga matebe kwa manenge ukia kisio ulo mwako wako yo wanga hii tena kutungia mbea nondo mdo kwa kunda viti ya nene na asia mwe wake na ngoya keni hile la wina ndio wewe na wada yo wake tena tena. Yo wanga ni toa kubo yani kana wewe bina wa atukuma ku yo wanga yi. Umetie bina mwini na bebani. Nikana hivi ndani yi maiti mwitu wo. Nikana yo wanga yi ukedwe kwa mwana wo no kamekie bina. Na nikana yo wanga yi medwe na ndoa kukara na kutungia mwia. Sana nundo atutu ya kwitha yu. Ila toa mwio bandu ni babu sila mtoku minu wako. Ile ya nakumuadhima. Ile ya nakumukili ya kuma ke wango ke mwagudhiki ingi bina anu wako ndaya na kukiso yesu. 
Mtungi ya mwia nundu wa kila umu iba andu ni wa nundu Nutunenge ya chamatu Kitu yu wa wasi ya wangu yu wa ngai Mbutu mwa kuyu wana ikuni ya uwa nyo Hane na ana kumaini na ayase Ulai ndo kutu Nye uwa undu wa wano tayo makanisa Nitu wa woyani kana yu wa ngai Utunenge kwewa wasi ya wangu Na yu wa ngai kuweki ya mekoni Na nika na yu wa ngai wa itu Ukatunenge kwika la thayu wa kweyo mbanya Nika na yu wa itu ne Tuka atikuwe na ngui na tuka kala maisha mangui Sanda yoma nga ino nui nga imu siwa Ine anotelia gini atu amina Na nisi ito ane akiso yesu tukwe Sanda ni mwanda wa situ ya Mina na utunga na itina Wapi mwanda kwa sati ya nga hii Na nae la nasia Sia na sia mwaitu wa ndumake wa mde Ama watoto wa mwaitu familia yake yote Wakuji hapa mbele na watugaji wato, watumishu wa mungu, wakiongazwa na ye Bishop, wakuje hapa, kini tukaweze kuwambea familia Tukaweze kuendelea na rati baya leo Kwa hivyo watoto wa maito na familia yote, wajuku, fituku, wakuje Na niombe Pastor Jennifer, akipatie wimba wanapo kuje Yeah. 
jina la Yesu Kristo Mungu ishie na kutawala tunakuinua tunakuheshimu kwa maana wewe ndiwe Bwana na wewe ndiwe Mungu uinuliwe uambudiwe katika jamii ile Jehova nisi ukapate kuwa pamoja na wao faume wa wafalme tutaondoka katika nyumba ile watahitaji baba kuona nyanya yao mama yao shushu yao mahali hapa lakini hawata muona tena tunakuomba mfalme mahali popote mama alikuwa akiwapa ushauri kuanzia dakika hii Mungu wakakuone nikiomba mfalme kwa wafalme wote nikiwaweka chini ya ulinzi wa mbingu Nikienda kuomba Jehova ukasimame pamoja na wao. Faume mwenye utukufu, ninaomba katika jina la Yesu Kristo, wote awa nikiwaombea mfalme, kiwiliwili cha mama kisiwai sumbwa mmoja wao. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo, jinsi vile tutakavyoanza msafara kuelekea katika kaburi tutanyamazisha roho yake mahali pale mpaka siku ya kiyama maana Yesu naenda kuwa pamoja na wao naomba Jehova nisi ukaonekane katika kila jambo kwa sababu Yesu wewe ni Bwana asante kwa kuwa unastahili asante kwa kuwa wewe ni Bwana jina lako litukuzwe na wewe ndiwe mfariji wa kweli wafariji Bwana kwa sababu wewe ni Mungu kwa jina la Yesu Kristo ni namba na hata kwa mimi. Asante sana kwa maombi wakati wa kuelekea Rokabori. Mimi ya Mimi ya naomba watumishi wa Mungu ndio watakuwa mbele na sanduku nikuate na watoto wake mwaito na familia yote kwa maana kaburi iko karibu naomba watu watulie tu na tukienda naomba tupatiwa mara tena wimbo na hiyo mtungaji Jennifer hebu watungaji tujipange mambo sume to kaina laika ukai to kai
mwisho uh, wa sherehe za leo kwa maana sasa mimi niko kwa, kwa kaburi kwa hivyo nitaenda kusoma maneno lake Mungu takalo kutuongoza ili tukaweze tukaweze kurudisha mli wake Esther Mtangani pale alipotoka kulingana na Biblia uh, nitasoma kitabu na pia uh, mwanzo kifungu cha tatu na nisome na ile na ile lugha yetu huko imeandikwa we are with him to our wito jawa ni sio ndae yeye maita namba 10 la kana uta namba 10 kumba bodanga na ndi kwa kumba tena na tena kwa vika tena na tena ndio ngai no mutunga mundu ele wito na kwa sio kai nyi ana ma andu no ndo miaka ngili mero ni maku ni tayo ni live tu na ta usia yeso wa kuko no matwa ta matwa yetu ni manzi maingi na wanita akomu ah tetu sia ngai si tu ona ya kana no ngai ye we kawu ya ana ma ni masio ke kitoni o bala ma umie wa ro au ne ti we na ye go wa sia wa ngai na no ga wa sua ni bo wa mili ya ye e kala ya ti boku ma na ibi na ya bi kana mu no sio ari ja na ile wa ari ti che tetu sia ngai si asia te Ayu tiani ya ujo wako ukai saleu kobi kaila ukasio kama dangani nono ni bawa umiwe nono wikito na ukasio ka kito on kwani wao siku hii leo tunamrudisha mama wetu sisi wetu mchangani pale alipotoka kwa maana imeandikwa hivyo na Biblia inatuelekeza ya kwamba turudishe miji yetu mchangani pale sisi tulitoka naomba tupatiwe mchanga na watu wa familia viongozi wa kanisa na hata viongozi wa serikali wote watachukua mchanga ili tukaweze tekeleza hilo jambo naomba tupatiwe mchanga na tumaliza na muuliza uh, bisho baia ya taoma watu wa watu wazima Biongozi wa kanisa biongozi wa serikali watoto msipatie watoto msipatie rudi nimeni tu watoto msichukue
Baba wetu naomba kwa jamii hii tunaiacha katika mikono yako. Baba amani ipitao fahamu zote za wanadamu ikawe ndio tunda katika jamii hii kwa maana wewe ni mwaminifu. Takatifu wa Israeli, hata maana tumemlaza mama yetu, tunaomba ili ukawe mlinzi wa mahali hapa, usitrokesee kimwili mwili ama kitu ambacho kitakuwa kinapoombisha imani kaji ya kumlaza mahali hapa. Naomba baba uishai milele hata milele kila wakati watakapoishi wakakumbuke mema ambao uliwaidia wote ule watu wote kwa ajili ya siku ya mwisho wakakaa imara katika imani takatifu baba wetu hata tutaondoka hapa naomba utupe nafasi na kifuli ukaseme ukiwa juu mbinguni na watu wako watafika mahali walikotoka salama tupe ulinzi wa barabarani tupe ulinzi katika jamii zetu Tupe ulinzi tutakapobaki hapa baba kifuli chako na kiwe mgome katika maisha yetu kuanzia sasa na hata milele na hata milele wewe ni mwaminifu tunakuabudu tunakuimini na ni katika jina la mwokozi wetu tunaomba na kushukuru Tu kwa moyo mono nundu ni mukie chadini ki kutelesi ya kunenga mwaitu befitting send off based on the impact that she's had on each one of us as individuals her contribution to building the family her contribution to society and her contribution to nation building Chambe vi tutungia nga hivu vya munonu Ndwa kututenga chance cha kuli kithana mwaitu For almost a century She's lived through so much And she's gathered so much knowledge And experience And wisdom That she has passed on all of us And I'm sure that we are benefiting We are stronger Because of the moments that we've shared with mwaitu For almost a century We also want to thank the church The various churches uh, for the uh, participation and contribution and support to this family, uh, both here and elsewhere. Tuwe ndo tunge ya tuidi na mongu vya muno, nundu wa kutelez ya kukwati ya maundu, na kukali ya namusiwa, matinge, onesa, and also to all of us here in the different ways that we've participated in making this event a success, and most importantly, being here in person. Asenteni sana. And uh, also thank you for the Batini family for giving me this opportunity to speak on behalf of the family and say our thank you to all of you. Asante ni sana. Okay. Uh, Alors, <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
thank you, 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 Why am I not the motor? Look at that.